Hey y'all, this is Leslie from Scratch Made Homestead coming to you from the deck. Uh, it's Friday, uh, July the 6th, I believe. Yeah, something like that. And so we just had a big rain um, and we just had a few minutes downtime. So I thought what I would do is um, show you what I got at the estate sale this morning. This is the first one that Danny and I have been to in probably six months, maybe even a year. And um, we really, what we feel like, scored some, some things today. So let's get to it. Um, this is a uh, camper's kit of some sort. I don't know which, there's plenty of names for them. But basically it goes all the way down. There's cups, there's little pots, and there's medium pots, like that. And then it just all goes right back together. And look, four, yeah. five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> okay, well, it does go back in there, y'all. I just had it in there. So, uh, but this, this was just a sweet little find. This is going to be my sister's um, Christmas present. She collects whiteware and she collects vases. So, I thought this was kind of unique. And um, it's just a sweet little piece. Uh, this was tucked back in the corner and I had never seen one but I have since googled and you know it's not all that cleared for weird and fantastic but I thought it was really cool so there's a tray there's a casserole there's two small vegetable uh, casseroles and then the four smaller leftover size um, containers and then two little cutting boards like cheese boards I suppose um, and look, they still have the plastic on them. They, I don't think they've ever been used. See? Um, so, but I look forward to using them. And I'm really trying to get away from um, plastic. And so these will come in handy. And you just slip it off. This one, it, it, they're called Temptations presentable ovenware by Tara, I think is what that says. And this is the old world style um, print uh -huh. on here pattern. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, then I found this was just in the yard. I thought, oh, there's two, couple good little clips. So threw that in. And then um, I collect Pyrex bowls and this one, this one's in okay shape. Um, but Danny grew up eating cereal out of Pyrex bowls, y'all, and he didn't stop doing that until maybe 15 years ago. Mm. No, Not, that wasn't that long. Wasn't that long ago? Okay, anyway, a long time. And, uh, and then there's the larger one that matches. A big cereal bowl. Yeah. They had a rooster Pyrex, and I just missed it, so... Um, this is a uh, cast iron trivet, rooster trivet, that I got. I think it was five dollars. Um, and then just another cute little cast iron trivet. So, um, I think that's all I have out here, but y'all, the big score is on the other side of the camper, so come on, y'all. Oh, wait, I forgot my new Christmas apron. <laughs> it's a little tattered, but y'all, it is the softest ever. I may wear it every day. Come on, y'all. Oh, David's here. Just in time. So we got all the other stuff first and uh, my friend who does the estate sales, she was like, where's, where's all your jars? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And she said, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, there's just, cannon jars back there and oh my gosh y'all there are 15 boxes of jars now some are new some are old check these out that's a really cool one I don't know if it's mason or not it says LGW on the bottom I don't know if y'all can see that but um, that one's kind of cool and then this is a Dre perfect mason and of course, I won't be using these to can in, not all of them, but a good many of them I will be able to use. Y'all, a whole case of blue balls. A half gallon. 
blue ball and a curve half gallon. Then I found these, and I absolutely won't be using these again, y'all, so don't get excited. I'll probably put these on the blue balls. They were originally $1.50 each. Um, let's see. So yeah, 15 um, boxes of jars back there. And there's another one that had some really different markings on it, but I couldn't find it for the video. Um, and then <laughs> we found this in the uh, greenhouse. And here's some just some wire. I thought this was kind of interesting. It was a, a electrical outlet stake in your yard. And there's probably about, oh, 12 or 15 um, uh, extension cords in there. So, yeah, we, we uh, scored big today, didn't we, babe? That's it. All right, y'all. It's Leslie, Scratch Made Homestead. Peace.